Uh, hello folks, welcome back. Where I am the one, the only. I'm Hobo Tom. Um some bad news. I don't know how this is gonna affect stuff moving forward. I got my second copyright strike. I have one copyright strike remaining. I don't think they copyright struck me for that. Because that was my own video. So yeah, they never did. So yeah, that, that's different. I can't believe this. I thought I would never make this video. But AAA gave me a copyright. Gave me two copyright. Actually, I think Fight Network gave me one copyright strike. And I kind of thought, I'm like, yeah, Fight Network's a USA thing. So I could see them giving it to me. AAA gave me a copyright strike. That's two copyright strikes. I have to serve them until, I think, September 17th. The one comes up. I forget if it's the 17th or... One's up, I think, yeah, one's up the 16th, one's up the 17th. Unfortunately, what that means for you, my loyal YouTube watchers, is that I will not be putting out with some exception any more live stream content for at least three months. So I have to get these two copyright strikes off my, off my, I have to clear it. I have to go to copyright school. I'll tell you what, AAA is the most, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Contradictory wrestling program. The fact that they are allowed, um, unless they manage to shell out a lot of money, and I highly doubt that, or maybe they did, but they use so much copyrighted material, not even their own music, and I highly doubt that AAA pays for all of the ACDC. I know they don't pay for the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I almost, I'm nearly sure they don't, uh, Red, uh, Blue Demon Jr. comes out to the uh, Red Hot Chili Pepper song. Dr. Wagner Jr. comes out to um, Bon Jovi, Bon Jovi's Bad Medicine. So many other wrestlers come out to songs I know are copyrighted. And I highly doubt that with all the wrestlers coming to those songs, I sincerely doubt AAA ever paid anything for the right to use those songs. For four years, so yeah, for three years, you could always see, oh, the Pink Panther theme. Oh, that's the line of the fourth. I mean, even he uses a Pink Panther song. The hell? So I have to be very careful as to what I put up, mainly because I can't, if I get that third copyright strike, I'm out of here. There will be no more Hobo and His Girlfriend wrestling page, which I think is a terrible shame. And the fact that YouTube allows like, I, the fact that, well, YouTube didn't zonk me beforehand, but I know YouTube has played AAA clips using, again, that copyrighted music. It's kind of contradictory. It's pretty bad. Considering for years they never did anything, all of a sudden they're like, nope, you're out of here. Really, and I'll try and make this a little bit, I'll, I'll wind this up soon, but really, no one's heard of AAA, except for through websites like, except for the YouTube sites like mine that, that say, hey, 
look at this amazing content. It's like a free advertisement for AAA because if new freaking not new. I mean, if you follow enough pro wrestling, you know, yeah, there is this thing called AAA because a lot of the AAA wrestlers go eventually to like NXT, AEW, the WCWs of the world. That's how I first heard of AAA and CMLL. So you see them all in like WCW, uh, they, every so often in Ring of Honor, Chikara, uh, Pro Wrestling Gorilla. No one's heard of AAA though, unless you kind of really know. So unfortunately, that's the news. There will be no more live streaming by me for at least three months. And yeah, I guess that is September. I'll be a, I'm trying to think. And that means I can't, the other big thing is I, I can't show you guys any more AAA stuff. So it's like, no, nope, it's not worth, oh yeah, I remember, like, jeez. He has those flamethrowers over the heads of little kids. Psycho Clown's insane. But yeah. That's the sad story. Um, AAA, AAA might be losing some fans. Will I want to watch the third Triple Mania installment? I don't know. So that's the way it goes. I apologize for that. I tried to be loyal to my fans, give them the best content that I possibly could. I throw in a lot of my own commentary there. Um, had some great talks, and again, I'll be, I'll be, I, I can still do um, kind of like reviews and stuff, but for a bunch of people, yeah, reviews are good. You can watch reviews anywhere. The live stuff's the good stuff. So how this affects my programming tomorrow? I'm not gonna go live. It makes no sense for me to risk a third copyright strike on Impact. Because I think, I don't think, I'm, I don't think Impact ever gave me a copyright strike. They gave me a copyright, no, you can't do that. Which is a lot different. They gave me a copyright warning. So, that's just the way thing goes. Um... They think they're a big shot and can do stuff to small people. And who knows? Maybe that's the way YouTube's going. YouTube, I know, when I first started off, was a wild west. And that's what drew me to it. And then they've kind of gotten smaller and smaller and, and began to crunch things in. And I'm not the only one who has heard bad things about YouTube. I know the guy that does Farscape saying, hey, wh why are you putting... Why are you monet why are you putting ads on my channel and then saying I'm not collecting money? I start off this I saying, hey, you know what, with my girlfriend, I'm um, having a mad job. This might be a way to do stuff. Um, people are putting on video game content all the time. You never know. Again, it used it used to be a great medium. Now I have stuff to think about. And again, I do value your opinion out there in the YouTube universe. Should I stay here with YouTube? Again, I still have all my great memories. I am getting older, or should I move on? I figure, you know what? I've united some wrestling fans. There are some people. Bump slicks from literally across the pond. Just taking a look at my statistics, there are people in Peru that watch my web channel. I know I, I, I didn't even think of people in Peru watching my channel. I didn't even thought I didn't even think that Peru had the internet internet capability. Much less that. In some other countries, I'm like, how the hell are four people in Peru watching my my channel? That was just a thrill. So I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna. I have no clue what's gonna happen. Um. I know I'll still be doing. Only because it is NXT. 
and that's a whole different realm. WWE is a little bit whole dif whole dif different realm too, especially for like the live shows. I can kind of fiddle a little bit with music and entrances, and because that's not really copyrighted, but especially the very little live show. Who knows? If I do get my third copyright strike because of that, holy crap! Freaking Vlano has the fourth just broke a beer bottle over Psycho Clone said. And you guys missed that because I can't risk that third strike. That's, that doesn't make sense to me. So, unfortunately, that's the way the funny ball bounces. Gotta think about stuff. Do I want to keep this channel going? Do I want to say, hey, I had a hell of a run? And just kind of fade off into obscurity. Uh, again, I've seen enough people like... Uh, I don't know if I should thank them, but like Steven Larson, Lou's from New York, uh, Brian Zane, Wrestling to Regret. When I saw their channels, I'm like, freaking, I could do that. I probably know more. I've, I'm a little bit older. I'd probably watch pro wrestling longer. I mean, if those guys have, I could, JD from New York, I could give them freaking rundowns if I remember when I saw the Jumping Bomb Angels. I mean, I mentioned that to a friend, and he's like, holy crap. That goes back a while. Um, I still, I still say, I still swear by this point that AJ Styles at one time did wrestle in ECW too. But yeah, I don't know. Things I have to think of for the next three months. Um, if I'm going to do just junk together all WWE shows together, or if I'm going to do any other shows, again, out there in the YouTube universe, I want to hear your opinions. I hope everyone did enjoy everything that I have put up. Again, AAA, they're... <laughs> I'll tell you what, based on their production, they need to be paying someone pretty good because their production sucks. But yeah. Um, so, other than that, again, I want to hear your guys' opinions about stuff. Should I stay? Should I go? You guys say, hey... You had a hell of a run. We appreciate you. I don't mind doing that. Hell, it's less work for me. I don't have to worry about making cards for the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. I can thank a whole bunch of people. And, and Vlano is just freaking munching on the head of Psycho Clown right now. I mean, it's one less thing I have to worry about. Like, July 4th, I don't have to make a video. I still will, though, for you guys. Because I haven't been kicked off yet. But going in the future, do I want to do this? That mask might as well be off. But yeah. Again, I want to hear from you guys. Again, I'd like to heartily thank everyone for watching. Give me your opinion. Should I stay or should I go? It's a sucky decision. I hate the fact that AAA of all places... Ashley drove...